The purpose of this video is to introduce you to trigonometry and to show you how to find some basic trig ratios. If you read what's written in the paragraph there, you'll see the origins of the word trigonometry. But what are what is trigonometry really? I'm going to define it to go back to say that all they are is their ratios. Their numbers are that are comparing this side of the triangle to that side of the triangle. And if you think about trigonometry as just the ratio or the comparison between two numbers, that's going to make it a lot easier for you. A little bit on the anatomy of the right triangle. Remember that the two sides that form the right angle in a right triangle are the two legs. So this guy here is a leg, this guy here is a leg. We know they're legs because they include the right angle in the triangle. The side opposite the right angle is always referred to as the hypotenuse. Now there are three basic trig ratios that we're going to focus on in class this year. The sine ratio, the cosine ratio, and the tangent ratio. Given any right triangle, you can always find one of those ratios for either of the non-right angles. All right, the sine ratio. In this particular case, we're indicating which angle we're finding that sine ratio for. This is the Greek letter theta. Sometimes it'll be thought about as angle X, sometimes as angle A. In this case, they're telling us the sine of any angle theta is going to be equal to the ratio between the leg, length of the leg opposite that angle and the length of the hypotenuse. So I'm going to think about sine value as being the opposite side compared to the hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle is defined to be the length of the leg that's adjacent to that angle over the hypotenuse. So cosine of an angle is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The tangent of an angle is defined to be the length of the leg opposite the angle over the length of the leg adjacent to the angle. So tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. You need to have those three trig ratios memorized or committed to memory. Some mnemonics that have helped kids in the past is so ka toa. This is the way I learned it, and maybe many of your parents did as well, where sine is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse, cosine is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, tangent is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, other mnemonics that I've heard, some old horse caught another horse taking oats away. Yeah, it's kind of silly, but whatever it takes for you to memorize it, you have to have those three trig ratios memorized, committed to memory. That's important. Okay, in any right triangle, the length of the leg opposite angle A is going to be referred to as side A. Notice that when we talk about angle A, it's with a capital letter. When we talk about side A, it's a lowercase letter. Likewise, the length of the leg opposite angle B is side B. And again, notice that angle B is referred to with a capital letter, side B referred to with a lowercase letter. And the length of the hypotenuse, which is going to be opposite angle C, is side C. And again, notice the difference between angle C, which is represented with a capital letter, side C, which is represented with a lowercase letter. In example one, they're asking us to write expressions for the sine, cosine, and tangent values of angle A. Then they want us to do the same thing, but for angle B. I'm going to focus uh, at first on what they gave to me, or sorry, the angle that they gave to me first, angle A. So if I go back to Soka Toa, I know the sine is the relationship between the opposite side and the hypotenuse, the cosine value is the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, and the tangent value is the opposite side over the adjacent side. The key words in this expression, of angle A. So when I look at opposites and adjacents, they're always going to refer to opposites and adjacents of angle A. All right, so when I go through to find my trig values, the sine of angle A, is going to be the side opposite angle A. So in my picture, here's angle A. The side opposite angle A is side A over the hypotenuse. Well, the hypotenuse in 
each and every case is always going to be side C. The cosine of angle A is going to be the leg that's adjacent to angle A. And if I look at the picture, there are two sides that are adjacent to angle A. Remember, adjacent means next to or touching. So side B is adjacent to angle A, and side C is adjacent to angle A. We need the leg that's adjacent to angle A. So the leg that's adjacent to angle A is side B over the hypotenuse, which in this triangle is always side C. And then lastly, the tangent of angle A. So that's going to be the side opposite angle A, which is side A, over the leg that's adjacent to side A. So the leg, or sorry, the leg that's adjacent to angle A. The leg that's adjacent to angle A is leg B or side B. So those are my trig values for angle A. Next, it wants us to do the same thing, but now this time it wants us to use angle B as a reference. So I'm going to erase everything that I put here in my picture because now I'm going to focus in on angle B. He's going to be the rock star of the second problem. So sine value still refers to opposite over hypotenuse, but now the angle that we're looking at here has changed. So the sine of angle B is going to be the side opposite angle B, which is side B, over the hypotenuse, C. The cosine of angle B is going to be the leg that's adjacent to angle B. So the leg adjacent to angle B is side A over the hypotenuse, side C. And then the tangent of angle B is going to be the side opposite angle B, so B over the leg adjacent to angle B, which is side A. So notice that these different angles have different sine values, cosine values, and tangent values. They're not the same. The cosine values are not the same. The tangent values are not the same. It really makes a difference which angle we're finding those ratios for. So that angle is important. All right, number two down at the bottom, the last one for this video, says in the triangle below, find the three trig ratios of theta. Again, there's that Greek letter theta, which is just stands for a variable, or in this case, an angle. Express the answer in simplest radical form where necessary. So what's different about this question is that they've given us the length of one leg, they've given us the length of the second leg, but they have not given us the length of the hypotenuse. So where we know two sides of a right triangle, we can find the third side using the help of our friend Pythagoras. So I'm going to use a little Pythagorean theorem here. Anytime I use or input a leg into the Pythagorean theorem, I'm always going to include parentheses because I want to square the length of the whole side. So I want to square the length of the first side, which is 5. I want to square the length of the second side, which is 2 square roots of 3. And I want to add those together. So I'm going to grab my calculator, and you should as well. And into my calculator, I'm going to put exactly what I see there, parentheses and all. Let me go open up a new document. I want to calculate. And I need to find the value of the first leg, which is 5 squared, plus the length of the second leg, which is that 2 square roots of 3. And I also want to square that. So the sum of those two squares is equal to 37. So 37 is equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared, which means the length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 37. Notice that this says simplest radical form, so I'm simply going to leave that as square root of 37. And now I need to go find my three trig ratios for angle theta. So the sine is going to be equal to the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So the sine of angle theta is going to be the side opposite angle theta, which is 5. over the hypotenuse, which in this picture is the square root of 37. 
The cosine is the comparison between the adjacent and the hypotenuse, ha. So the cosine of angle theta is going to be the leg that's adjacent to angle theta, 2 square roots of 3, over the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 37. And then TOA, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tangent of angle theta is going to be the side opposite, 5, over the side or the leg adjacent, 2 square roots of 3. All right, so now I want you to go summarize the key ideas and important understandings. And then once you've do, done that, you can learn what you or use what you've learned to answer questions two and three on page three. Give a pass.